So we were over at a friend's house having a great time, and it was a Saturday, and being in business for myself, I worked so many hours that being able to take time with family and friends is very valuable to me, extremely valuable, because that's why I work so hard, is so I can spend time with people who I like, love, and trust, and be around them, and do things with who I want, when I want. And during this party, I get a phone call, and it was a, actually it was a text message, and it was from my tenant of one of my duplexes, a unit in East Wenatchee, saying that they do not have heat, right? And this was during the winter time. They don't have heat, which normally repairs can take, you know, you can take your time doing repairs, but when it comes to heat in very, very cold weather, you gotta take care of it promptly. And I was like, oh, crud, like, I should probably go over there right away and check it out, or, get a contractor over there right away. So I start frantically during this, during time I'm spending with family and friends, trying to contact a contractor. Nobody can go over there right away, right? And it's freezing out. Uh, I try a couple more friends. And I, I talk to the tenant and try to troubleshoot what's going on, and I can't figure it out. So last but not least, it's me. I gotta go over there, drop everything, head over to my rental, my passive income, and figure out why they don't have heat in the freezing cold, right? It's hard to believe because it's 100 degrees today, but it was freezing cold. I show up at the house and I open up the circuit breaker panel, which I've done before, which I asked them over the phone, did you look in the circuit breaker panel? Yes, they did. It was tripped. I tripped the circuit breaker panel back on, heat kicks on just like that. What do you know? Life is good again. Head back over to the party. My wife's ready to go. I just missed three hours, missed the entire party over a circuit a circuit breaker. Now, it could have been worse. Granted, it could have been worse. But I, my question is to the people out there that own rentals, that you're doing it yourself or you're hiring a management pro company. But if you're doing it yourself, how much is your time really worth? And how much is time with your family really worth? Because I'm getting interrupted and I know that it, I would have paid someone you know, hundreds of dollars to take care of that for me, maybe even thousands in the big scheme of things. That's why we started in property management is so that we can do all the little things so that you can do the big things in your life. And we do all the little things from screening tenants, getting the best tenants in your properties, background checks, marketing the property, leasing the property, all the paperwork, and then managing it from start to finish in terms of the repairs. And we bid out the repairs and we don't mark them up. And then we get your rental rates up, your costs down, so you have more money in your pocket and more time with your family and friends. So reach out to us at M Property Management and let us show you how we can increase your returns and increase your time with your family.